One, two, one, two, three. What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily Jean. I hope you're all having a spectacular day. Let's address, yes, I got bangs. Um, I got my hair cut Wednesday, so two days ago. Um, and we went short and we did bangs for fall and I'm obsessed. I went to Dan Williams in New York City and he is amazing. I highly recommend. Yee! I love it. Okay, so today's video is going to be a trial because I got all of this equipment. Why are you crying? Every time I make a video, he wants to cry at me in the video. In here. Okay, so I got all of these like equipment, like kitchen appliances when we got married and I have not used any of them. I haven't used any of them. And that's a crime. That is a crime. So because it's fall, I want to, I'm probably gonna do them in two separate videos, but attempt number one or trial number one is going to be a dairy-free pumpkin pie. So that's what we're gonna get into today. I think I'm gonna start with the pie crust because you have to chill it. It says at least an hour or you could chill it overnight. So depending on how this goes, that'll tell me. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna be optimistic and say that it's gonna go well on the first try, but we'll see. So I've got everything here. I've got flour and sugar and salt and vegan butter and my food processor that I got for Christmas because I made some things for Christmas. Um, so we're gonna just jump right in and try to make our dairy-free pumpkin pie. Subscribe. Also, if you are a baker, comment down below <laughs> if there are way, better ways to do what I'm doing. I'm old school and I, I printed out the recipe. Because I have three cookbooks over there and none of them have a pumpkin pie in it. Unacceptable. So um, we're gonna jump right in. Let's do a pumpkin pie. dough went much better than expected I mean it looked good so I put it in the fridge I think what I'm gonna do because it is like later in the day I think I'm gonna do the filling and the actual baking of it tomorrow so I'm gonna leave the dough in there for 24 hours and I will check back in with you tomorrow and we will do the filling and bake the actual pie welcome back to baking with Emily I should call that this like segment <laughs> um, okay so it's the next day the dough has been in the freezer, in the fridge for 24 hours. So now I'm gonna make the filling while this thaws a little bit and then I'm gonna roll it out and put it into my um, pie, my, pa my baking pie thing. Actually, let me grab that. Here's my beautiful pie dish that I got for my wedding. I should wash it. It's also got a sticker on it that I gotta take off. It's so beautiful. It's from Williams Sonoma, I love it. I love it so much. Nothing like uh, waiting a year to use a product. <laughs> um, okay, so here's my beautiful baking dish. And it also came with a serving spatula. So this is gonna be very exciting. So now we're gonna make the filling. And because this is dairy free, we're gonna be using coconut milk. Um, and the recipe, again, my printed out recipe, um, it says it should be full fat coconut milk. So I just got the regular coconut milk from Trader Joe's. We need pumpkin puree, vanilla extract, light brown sugar, ground cinnamon, pumpkin pie spice, Trader Joe's, and some sea salt. 
So let's get mixing on that and then we'll roll out our dough and form it to the pie dish. I've set everything up correctly it's a little it looks a little watery to me but maybe it'll like see how it's like jiggly maybe it'll like form up when it bakes and then I know like when it cools it solidifies but there's also like chunks of coconut in here that I couldn't really get whisked out so again I'm I have never baked a pie so this is <laughs> this is version one and then maybe we'll like try version two so it says to Bake for 15 at the at 425, and then we're gonna reduce the temperature to 350 and continue to bake for 60 minutes or until you insert a knife and it comes out clean. It may be a bit wobbly still, but it will firm up as it cools. Allow the pie to cool in a wire rack for two hours. So we need to let it cool for some time. So I also saw somebody like with because I have a little extra dough left, like make little like pumpkin things to put on the top and bake. So I might try that. I wonder like, is this gonna fall in? No, it'll sit on the top. We'll see, we'll play around. I'm gonna play around with this. So let me do a little cleanup and then we're gonna throw it in for 15 minutes and then um, see how it goes. Okay, we're going in the oven, 425 for 15 minutes. Mm, I'm scared. Okay. Now it doesn't say to take it out, so I think I just have to turn down the heat um, in 15 minutes. I'm scared! It's gonna be what it's gonna be. This is, ah, run away now. This is gonna be, Oh, this is nice like therapy. Have you ever done like the toss to like decrease your anxiety? Um, this is gonna be uh, number, uh, what is it called? Attempt number one. <laughs> um, it'll probably taste good, but I'm a little worried about the consistency. So um, I'll check back in with you in 15 minutes, take a look through. I'm not gonna open the door and then we'll lower the temp and bake for 60 minutes. Pumpkin pie. Reduce temperature to 350, continue to bake for 60 minutes or until the knife comes out clean. So we're coming down on our 15 minutes. I'm gonna go bake and oh gosh, oh gosh, 350. Okay, we're gonna go 350, bake. So I guess turn it off, bake, 350 start. Okay, so it's gonna go down to 350. Let's turn the timer off. So we're gonna go down to 350 and then we're gonna set the timer, let's say 50 minutes to start 
in case, you know, we just don't know. Um, don't judge me. My oven door is very dirty and I've tried several times to try to clean it with um, the pink stuff. <laughs> But we, yeah, we gotta clean that. So I don't have a clear shot of it in, of in, the, in the oven, but it's looking good. It's looking all right. It's leaking, yeah. Yeah, a little. Oh, it's firming up. Yeah, I think the only thing, cause it's dairy free, so the only thing I think maybe I should have whisked longer or like, whisk the coconut cream so that it wasn't splotchy because i can still see like some little chunks of it but we'll see how it goes i'll see you in 60 minutes okay so it has been 50 minutes um i didn't film this but the pie top of the pie crust was burning so i put like a foil on it because i don't have like a pie crust cover thing um, so I put some foil on it, so hopefully it didn't burn. So I'm gonna take it out, test it in the middle to see if it's still like jello-y. Um, and then if not, we'll bake for 10 more minutes. So let's check on the pie. Okay, so for my first time, this is not bad at all. There's a little like crack, couple cracks in here, which I don't really know what that is, but I just did the knife test and they said, you're supposed to go straight in and straight up with nothing on it. And also I jiggled it when I brought it out of the oven because if it's not set in the middle, it'll jiggle a lot. You can see this kind of got a little bit burned. I also think I trimmed too much off of the crust the other thing that I didn't do, of course I watched a pie baking video after I put this in, but you're supposed to like flip your crust. So we, we could use some work on the crust, but the filling looks really good. So now they say to let it cool for two hours um, and then you can either like put it in the fridge and like chill it or you can serve it. So this will be a surprise for when John comes home. Okay, so I put the pie in the fridge for a couple of hours and this is how it looks. It kind of separated from the crust a little bit but it smells good. And I, I don't know what I did wrong there, but for a first attempt, I think it looks pretty good. Now we gotta do the taste test. We got pumpkin pie. See how it's like separated? Oh well. Good old pumpkin pie. Look at how pretty. It's a little separated, but. It's fine. And then we got some coconut whipped cream. Okay. You like whipped cream. I don't know if you can have coconut. Can you have coconut? Oh, uh, we need to look that up. Ready? I'm sorry if it's bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared. I've never really had pumpkin pie. Really? Yeah. How do you top us that whipped cream? Oh, that's good. That's good? Mm-hmm. It's very good. but it did the job. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, click that subscribe button because we're really part of my channel and we'll see you for when I bake my apple pie.